is fraud and what is misconduct and how do we use those interchangeably. We're going to talk about the definitions of fraud and elements. Again, this is not um, this course is not based from a, a legal founding. It is looking at what we are seeing out there working, whether we're IRBs, sponsors, CROs, sites, um, institutions in and of themselves, what we are seeing out there in terms of fraud and misconduct. Right? So we typically define noncompliance as failure or refusal to comply. We hear this all the time in our own policies and what we see in FDA warning letters or NIDPO letters. It's the failure or refusal to conform and adapt one's actions to a regulation or requirement. So as you are aware, everything that we do is governed by regulations and guidelines, protocols of how we are supposed to go through um, and do our day-to-day -day activities no matter where we fall along the spectrum. Another good definition is be behavior not conforming to prevailing standards or laws or impropriety. Typically, we don't um, hold folks accountable to, to this level of detail in, in uh, our definition. But we do use that term noncompliance, and we'll talk about it more in, in a misconduct standpoint. So fraud, or sometimes referred to as the fraudulent act, is defined as an intentional, intentional perversion of truth for the purpose of inducing another in reliance upon it to part with some valuable thing or to surrender a legal right. It's a false representation of a matter of fact. And again, this is a legal view of, of what fraud is. We use those words sort of, as we'll see, interchangeably, but what we are finding is a lot of folks are moving away from that definition of fraud simply because it can be hard to, to basically substantiate that. Misconduct. The phrase misconduct in science or scientific misconduct has been used to replace scientific fraud because, as we spoke of just a moment ago, legal interpretations of the term fraud require evidence not only of intentional deception but also of injury or damage to victims. And proof is um, difficult to come by. So we typically default to that misconduct. 